I'm Julianne Garrison from CU Medicine, Family Medicine, Park Meadows. My dad got sick when I was nine years old uh, with a brain tumor and was in the hospital for a number of surgical procedures and for several holidays and uh, had some fallout of that time in our lives. And I had so much respect for the surgeons and doctors and the way they sat with our family and talked with our family. And uh, I was from a small town about an hour from from where the hospital was, where my dad was receiving care. And our family doctor, who was older and didn't have children at the time, but he drove an hour to sit with us um, for 30 minutes, most days on most weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and it made quite an impression. I think regular appointments with a family doctor may be the greatest strength in the current healthcare system. We have data that shows that primary care doctors and strong relationships with primary care doctors reduce the number of prescriptions that are prescribed, uh, build trust so that uh, uh, patients feel comfortable with the care that they're giving, that human lives are being affected, can hear, yes, here's your medication, and also, no, here's why I don't recommend that. Not everyone is just looking for an antibiotic or a drug. Sometimes they want real information from someone they can trust. So I think the most important reason to see your doctor is for prevention and to establish a relationship so they can get good advice and quality care from someone you trust. I tend to come to treating patients from the root of the cause and the whole person. For example, the chief complaint or what we refer to as what's written as the initial line for why a person comes in may be what's behind symptoms and sometimes there's a bigger picture. So I like to really relax into a visit, try to hear what people have to say, uh, try to put together the whole picture of where they are in their life, uh, what variables are contributing and then look for prevention uh, for things that may happen in the future. So that's my general approach. I have a background in integrative medicine. I'm fellowship trained in that. So I know a little bit more than the average primary care doctor about um, herbs and supplements. Uh, I am not an alternative practitioner. I consider myself to be complementary, meaning if I can give a probiotic when I prescribe an antibiotic, I do, but I don't recommend um, an herb instead of a required chemotherapy or cancer treatment. Oh, I love the relationships. It's what keeps me coming back through pandemics and short staffing and rough days. These are human beings with their own life experiences and life journeys and families. And often we take care of the whole family, sometimes, uh, you know, three generations. I love learning later on that I've made a difference in someone's life when I did something that's fairly routine. I love that I learned something new almost every hour of every day that I practice medicine. It's so fantastic.